Athena. Welcome to another video. From the title of this video, you can see that I'm going to be eating like the supermodel and Kardashian Kendall Jenner for the entire day. So stick around if you want to see what Kendall eats in a day. Today I am going to be eating like a Kendall Jenner. And if you don't know who Kendall Jenner is, um, okay. But anyway, she is a model and she has modeled for the Victoria's Secret fashion show a few times and is a Victoria's Secret model. She is also one of the Kardashians. So if you don't know who the Kardashians are, I'm sorry, I, I don't know how that's actually possible. Not that, not that I like watch them, but I just don't know how that's possible. Anyway. <laughs> Today, I am going to be eating like her. So I thought it was appropriate to, to wear a Kendall-inspired look today. So I copied one of her outfits from Instagram. I'll insert the picture here. But she, she says she's in the row head to toe. That's her caption. And I'm almost in Target head to toe. So I'm going to show you my look for today. Here's the fit and here's my Kendall Jenner inspired outfits. Um, I think it actually looks pretty accurate. Anyway, let's get on with breakfast. For this video, I got most of my information from the Harper's Bazaar article. And for breakfast, Kendall says that she normally has oatmeal with avocados and eggs. Not avocado toast, but just avocado and eggs. If you saw my eating like a Sarah's Day video, you know that I just can't do avocados. I can't. They hurt my stomach and um, it's, not, it's not fun. So I'm going to eat the oatmeal and I'm going to make my mom the avocados and eggs. And since she says that she has avocados and eggs and oatmeal, I'm assuming that the oatmeal is kind of like a side thing. For the oatmeal, I ended up making cinnamon vanilla oats, which is one of my go-to oats along with the chocolate peanut butter ones. But today I decided to do cinnamon and vanilla and I added in a tablespoon of maple syrup for sweetness. Now it's time to make the eggs. For the eggs, I just ended up making two sunny side up eggs, which kind of just ended up becoming one egg. <laughs> In Kendall's article for Harper's Bazaar, she said that if she doesn't want the oatmeal, sometimes she'll add the toast to the avocado, so she'll make it an actual avocado toast. So I think my mom wants avocado toast, not just eggs with avocado, so that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm waiting for the eggs to cook, and I'm gonna top my oatmeal. I top my oatmeal with my normal toppings, which are berries and peanut butter, and I use strawberries and blueberries, and added some cacao nibs and coconut flakes. Here is my breakfast, and here's my mom's breakfast. The avocado toast is on me. <laughs> it is a lunchtime now, and for lunch, Kendall says that she is saying Kendall says like, <laughs> like yeah, I sat down and talked with her, and that's what she says. <laughs> Anyway, she says that she normally has chicken with veggies and brown rice, so that's what I'm gonna have. Not a norm normally a fan of stuff like that, but it's good to switch it up. <laughs> I'm gonna make some broccoli if it's still good. There you go, mom. I'll make the broccoli. Mm -hmm. And the chicken is in the oven now, and I already have some leftover brown rice from the other day. I 
I have here my quinoa brown rice seven grains um, mix rice thing. If you know, you know I get this from Aldi. Uh, it's just in the microwave. Put it in second, seven seconds and yeah. And I'm going to have it in a bowl because I was just telling my mom that bowls are superior. I'd much rather eat out of a bowl than a plate, off of a plate. I don't know why. Just this. Here we have, whoa, can you see that? It's so smoky anyway, not smoky, steamy. Have the broccoli. Here's that with the brown rice situation. And now I'm gonna get the chicken. Here's lunch. Not my favorite thing in the world, but I'm sure it'll taste good. I'm gonna do a taste test now. This is for you, Brent. Definitely looks better mixed up though. We are back for snack time and don't mind that weird noise in the back. <laughs> it's the the coffee maker. Um, <laughs> for snack, Kendall says that she snacks. Mom, now the squeaking of our old floor. <laughs> for a snack, Kendall says that she likes I just can't get over the sound of the coffee maker now. <laughs> For a snack, Kendall says that she likes to have some veggies with hummus or chips and guac. And she also says she really likes um, Justin's peanut butter. So I thought uh, hummus bothers my stomach, so does guac. <laughs> so I thought playing off of the peanut butter thing, I would have some apples with peanut butter. And she also says that for a snack, she really likes something crunchy. So I thought that was perfect. Let's have some apples and peanut butter. <laughs> we are back for dinner and I changed. I'm wearing my Victoria's Secret Path and Show shirt. 2018, I uh, thought it was fitting. Think she's in that show. Kendall says that she likes Italian or she likes sushi. When she goes out, she likes to get sushi. But at home, sometimes she'll have a fettuccine with peas and a lemon parmesan sauce. So I thought I would make pasta with peas. Similar. <laughs> Here I have quinoa pasta from Trader Joe's. It's good, it's yummy. Pasta I use. Here are the peas I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna throw in some frozen peas with the pasta. Dessert. Kendall says that she likes froyo sometimes, like on the weekends, but she doesn't really say what she likes for dessert on a regular day. So I don't think she has it, which is shocker because I always need something sweet. Here's the pasta with peas. I would probably top this with the Trader Joe's vegan pesto since I'm not making like a parmesan lemon topping which sounds good though overall I don't think this was my absolute favorite day of eating <laughs> that makes sense Kendall definitely eats more savory foods when I am more of a sweet food person with granola and fruits and stuff but um it was good to switch it up. But I think I enjoyed Sarah's days, what I eat in a day, a little bit more than Kendall's. But I'd be curious to try other celebrities and YouTubers. I am going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to give this video a like and to subscribe and make sure to comment down below if you like this video and if you would like to see me eat like another celebrity or YouTuber, and I'll see you next week. Bye!